Hi, I'm Rashonda Cade. This is College Chronicles with the Cades. I think that's what I'm calling it. It's been a while since I've talked about this. So my daughter is in college. She started college in fall of 2022. My son is a junior in high school and he's going through all the things. He has taken the ACT and the PSAT and he's going to take the ACT again. And my daughter loves, loves, loves college. Um, my daughter is TG and my son is TB. TG stands for the girl and TB stands for the boy. Just a quick note here. So when TG went off to college, I was like, you should take your social security card with you because you're going to need it to show your identity and your ability to work when you go and you get this job that you're clearly going to get a job when you go off to college, obviously, you're going to need some funds. And she was like, no, mom, I don't think I should take it, which I understood. Homegirl has lost lots of things, more coats and sweatshirts than one can fathom. And I'm not just talking about when she was in second grade. I'm talking about all the way through high school, we're losing coats and sweatshirts. She lost her house key once. And this isn't to smash my daughter. She is a wonderful, brilliant, God-loving human, and I am excited for her and her journey. But I respected her decision, saying, I don't want to take my Social Security card with me, Mom. I'm, I'm afraid I might lose it. Like I, And even if she wasn't afraid she was going to lose it, she knows where it is in our house, and it's safe. And I, I respected that. And I was like, but what are you going to do when you get a job and you need to prove your identity? And she was like, can't I just show a picture of my social security card? And I was like, I don't think so. It's like, I've had college students work for me and I needed to see the actual card to be able to verify their identity. But she, she made an adult decision and chose not to take it with her. And I wasn't mad at her about that. So for her whole first semester, we're like, um, when are you going to get a job? How are you funding your outings with your friends? What's what's going on? And she said, you know, I'm just trying to get myself settled, see what college is like, understand what's going on before I get a job. Again, another decision that I respected. Yes, I like that. I like these adult decisions that you are making. So she came back for Christmas break, and I was like, you should take your Social Security card back with you for this job that I know you're going to get. I know you're going to get a job in the spring semester. Yes. Yes, you are. And again, she was like, I've talked with people, mom, and they said I can just show a picture. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but okay. We're going to, we're going to go with that. And you're making decisions and I don't have to agree with them, but I respect the decisions that you're making. And in the back of my mind, I was like, at some point, I'm going to have to send the social security card to you or drive it to you or something because you're going to need it because they're not going to accept the picture. But I was like, eh, let's see what happens. So she lined up a job. Woo, woo, congratulations. Good for you, homegirl. And she showed them the picture. <laughs> social security card and they were like no ma'am we need to see the original so we had to get the original to her which was not a big deal I'm actually glad she learned the lessons that she learned in this process no no worries about that at all and getting it to her wasn't wasn't problematic but just a note that if your child going off to college is hesitant about the responsibility of holding on to their social security card, encourage them that they can do it and that they're going to need it and all is going to be well or not. You know, you know your kid and your kid knows what they want to do. But anyway, that was just a recent adventure for us. And it was we have had other things with like testing with TB and stuff. I'll try to do this a little more frequently. So anyway, I'm Rashonda Cade. This is College Chronicles with the Cades. Until next time.